Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I first apologize for no makeup, sweatshirt, no hair done, but as usual, we are filming this at the 11th hour. Sandy sent these questions out a month ago. I've had a whole month to film <laughs> on days when I've had makeup on and days when I've done my hair and days when I'm not in a sweatshirt, but you know, it's me, oh. it's 11th hour. So at least we're doing it, right? At least we're doing the tag. And you think because it's a Valentine's Day tag, we would have like looked a little bit better, but nah. it's real life, my friends. It's real life. This is what happens when you're married 33 years. Good job. <laughs> I had to think about it. Almost 33. So anyway, it is No Tag Tuesday. It's been <laughs> a hot minute. We have not done one of these since December, Doug and I. Um, so Sandy made up the questions. Everybody's in the description box where you do tags once a month now on the second Tuesday of the month. Yada, yada, yada. Did I cover everything? Sounds good. Okay. So check out everybody else. Thank you, Sandy. Let's get going. It is a would you rather Valentine's Day tag. You want to read or you want me to read? Oh, we'll take turns. Number one. Would you rather get lots of Valentine cards from lots of friends or from someone very special to you? Someone very special. I mean, yeah, because I always get one from someone very special, even though they forget to send me an anniversary card sometimes. <laughs> um, but it is fun. Like, I have gotten like valentine cards from you guys and that just touches my heart and i love that too um so i would say cards from lots of friends because i can see that i know he loves me he's actually given me as of right now 13 valentines so far he's been writing me a little like making like a homemade conversation heart out of paper and hiding it somewhere every day so I find it. So how cute is that? He's been doing it since February 1st. So that's been a lot of fun, so. Okay, number two. Would you rather receive Valentine's in an email or handwritten? You wanna jump in? I'll jump in for this question. Okay. Why don't you jump in for all of them? <laughs> Here's Andrew, he's gonna jump in. All right. Oh, Andrew probably doesn't really feel like talking about Valentine's Day because Anne just left to go back to Connecticut. Mm -hmm. So his Valentine he won't even see tomorrow. But that's okay. They went out to lunch today. Brunch today. Something like that. Okay, so Andrew, the first question was, would you rather get lots of Valentine cards from lots of friends or from someone very special? Someone special. Number two, would you rather receive Valentines in an email or handwritten? Handwritten. Handwritten. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Number three? Number three, would you rather... No. Get a mushy card or a funny card? Uh, I'd rather get a funny card, but something handwritten inside. I don't know. That's <clears throat> weird. Like oh. a handwritten mushy note? Like a funny card with a handwritten mushy note? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll say mushy. I'll say mushy. Would you read a mushy card over again? <laughs> Number four. Would you rather get flowers or candy? Candy. Candy. <laughs> Flowers. Of course. I can buy my own candy. Number five. Would you rather go to a Valentine's Day party with really good friends? No. Really good food. Oh, really good food. Oh, sorry, <laughs> really good food. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or a party with no food, but really great games and activities. Food. Food. <laughs> food, yeah. It's all about the food. Give me the good food. It's all about that food. As Father Bruni said, it's all about the food. It is all That's about right. the food. God bless. Rest the soul. Rest the yeah. soul. Would you rather go to a romantic restaurant or just have carry out at home? It's cheaper for carry out. <laughs> yeah, but romantic restaurants are nice. They are, but... But just don't go on Valentine's Day. I was going to say, like, that, that that's the thing. Like, I'd rather do take out on Valentine's Day with a movie at home than try to go into a restaurant because you'd wait two price hours. couch. Then you wait two hours. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go on the actual day. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I like going out to a romantic restaurant, but I don't know. Carry out and a yeah. movie sounds good, too. Oh, gosh. But you know what? We do that. So, and we rarely go to a romantic restaurant. Okay, romantic restaurant. 
Would you rather host a Valentine's Day party or attend a party where you only know a few people? Host. I love to host. Well, you wouldn't have to host. You host with her. So, uh, yeah. Um, host or... I would attend because I'll make friends anywhere. Um, That's yeah, true. Yeah, hosting parties are fun. Of course they're fun for you. <laughs> yeah, because she do all the work. <laughs> you do the heavy lifting. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, what, what do you want? What number, do you want? Number, eight. number eight. Would you rather create a homemade Valentine's Day card or buy it at the store? Oh, Oh, well, I'm not creative, so I'll buy it. Yeah. I'm sure are you. Oh. I, I mean, as much as I love to be creative and do stuff, making cards is not one of my favorite things to do, so I'm buying it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah, because this, 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 their saying is always better. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, would you rather have chocolate-covered strawberries or chocolate-covered Cherry candle candy cordials. Strawberries. Well, I love chocolate covered cherries, but I don't like the cordials because the cordials are the ones with the white cream inside. I like the liquid ones. So I don't want the cordials. And I would probably pick strawberries over cherry cordials anyway because they're kind of sweet. I'll take cordials because I don't like strawberries. <laughs> Number 10. Number 10, would you rather eat only red foods on Valentine's Day or white foods? Red. I'd go with red because there's I can think of more red stuff than white. Tomatoes? Steak. Okay, red meat. Red but meat. cheese is white, and I love cheese. And ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. Well, you can also get a cherry ice cream, and it's red. Okay. Like, there's so many debatable things about this one. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, because, like, a lobster's red. Yeah, it is. Uh, Once it's cooked, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm um, getting... Yeah, crabs are... Yeah, okay. okay. Crabs are red. Um, oh. Well, clams are white. Mussels are white. Mussels are... Mussels are black. black. Well, inside white. Yeah. yeah. I'm going red. Steak and lobster. Yeah, there we Steak go. and lobster. Surf and yep. turf. Yep, I'm going red. Okay, the last question. Bonus question. Bonus question. Valentine's Day. Overhyped or a fun day to spread love? A little uh, bit of both. Yeah, I'd say it's overhyped. I say it's overhyped, but I understand. I understand what it means by spreading the love. I still. Think I it's I think it's a little bit of both. Like last year, I had fun with it. I I started in January, and I bought for Andrew, Grace, Adam, and Doug. I had a little gift wrap for them every single day from February first to February fourteenth. Like it just could have been like a little pack of Tic Tacs or a pack of gum or candy or. I think like hair ties or something. You okay? Apparently Aria has a very strong opinion. Bless you. you okay? God bless you, Aria. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I guess it, it's definitely overhyped. Um, it's a Hallmark holiday. And I think, well, Andrew's yeah, like, they, they, it, it's a, what did you say? What were you I said it's a, it's a holiday where they take a saint's feast day and they try to like turn it around into something else. Yeah. It's, it's all commercialism. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I, it could be a fun day to spread the love, but I think there's too much pressure sometimes put on. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. You know? So like we always say like, right, like we do a card. Yeah. That's it. And usually I buy him a little piece of candy or something, but... He still has so much candy from his Christmas stocking that he hasn't touched yet that yeah. he's not getting any candy. I don't need more. Bad. I bought like little, like the tubes with the little heart on the top of Hershey Kisses for the, all of my little babies. And we'll do something tomorrow. Um, I think one of the little babies is bringing donuts and we've made Valentine's Day crafts and stuff like that, so. I will say, best opinion. Anything that is, the Hershey's hearts are fantastic. <laughs> I love that, 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 that that's a speaking of just so speaking of I guess candy. I should have got Andrew some Hershey cards <laughs> well what's it called well my my opinion about Hershey's uh what's it called Reese's anyway is anything that's the shape is better than the actual Reese's cup that's just oh yeah for sure yeah because there's, sure. there's more peanut butter filling it just tastes good it just tastes better <laughs> anyway that is our ragtag tag because like I said I I think I've got yeah I've got flour on me I just fed my sourdough I've got on a sweatshirt that's two sizes too big no makeup on but what do I always say real life it's real life real life do it live it's real life and I either was 
gonna look like this or not do the tag. So I figure you don't care. Anyway, that is it for us. Don't forget to check out everybody else's tag down in the description box below. And thank you again, Sandy, for putting all these questions together every month for us. And we will see you for a tag the second week of March. Oh, Adam may be home for spring break. We may be able to get yeah. Adam in it. Yeah. We'll see. So have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching.